But essentially what we're doing here is we're playing Rakdos Sacrifice, like a lot of the good the good elements from Rakdos Sacrifice. So Cat Oven Claim, Dispute Harvester, Mayhem Devil Fable. Those are the cards that are carrying over from previous Rakdos Sacrifice deck lists. But we're also playing uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods. So this is essentially doing two things. So it's obviously a powerful card in its own right, because with with cards like Claim the Firstborn and now Karis have his expertise, you know, you can steal their thing, gives you another thing to sacrifice to the priest, you maybe sack like a familiar or Blood Scythe Harvester, something along those lines, and obviously that's really powerful. But because we're also choosing to splash for Corvold, which is a card that we have green sources in our mana base with Crag Crown and Darkboard Pathway, also green sources from Fable, you can actually ramp into Corvold on turn three. You can go turn one familiar, turn two priest. I guess that you can't really do it on turn three, right? Because you can just spend mana on the extra creatures. But you can ramp into Corvold, which is particularly powerful when you're like casting it ahead of schedule. Also, you can set up lines where you go like claim their thing, sack at the priest, play Corvold, sack a land. You can do some really crazy stuff with Corvold, so. But yeah, so I haven't I haven't personally played this deck list yet. This is um, something that was on my radar, and I definitely wanted to give it a shot. Just, you know, like I said, Rakdos Sacrifice with Priest, which is a really interesting addition. I'm not a huge fan of it against stuff like Old Growth Troll and Cavalier, so we'll have to see how that plays out. But I, the, I, the idea is you can Kari Zev's their Troll or Cavalier, whichever one they have, and then Priest them, and that's pretty effective. And again, ramping into Corvold's kind of cool too. So you kind of have like multiple different ways to ramp into Corvold with Fable and Priest, which is which is pretty sweet. So yeah, and then the thing I love about this tech list is the sideboard. It's just it's so straightforward. Four push, four Thoughtseize, four Leyline, and then three Ob for the control matchups. It's just it's just a, a gorgeous looking sideboard. So I am uh, I'm excited. So without further ado, let's get into some games. All right, can't ask for a whole lot more than this. You know, pay off. Like this is this is good, but you know, it, obviously this kind of stuff takes forever to win a game with just oven cat. So I tend to lead on playing the oven first, unknown, just in case they have like spike field hazard or some weird stuff like that. And before double Rakdos, double blue white phoenix. I think those are all good matchups. So interesting. All right, I think I'm actually down to play the blood tithe harvester here. Puts a little bit more pressure into play. I mean, if they have a shock, obviously, you know, it's a little bit worse, but it also uses my mana better. So, like, the nice thing about playing Harvester is if I draw a 3-drop, of which I have um, 8 of, I can go land 3-drop, and then on turn 4, I can go land Cauldron. Um, <laughs> never mind, I don't have Jagatha. Like, every, time I, every time I play Sack, I just assume I have Jagatha. <laughs> but, you know what I mean, you get the point. It's just better to put pressure on them. When I don't have Gigantha, I assume I do, and when I have Gigantha, I forget it, so what are we doing here? Discard Cat to Blood? Yeah, but then I don't have a food to get the cat back. I guess if they kill my Harvester and I sack it, then I can do that, but... <coughs> assume this is Phoenix. Slick a removal spell here. We'll sack to the oven pretty easily. They change their mind. Okay, maybe not. True the Karizevs. Probably not the best card in this particular matchup, but... Definitely a spot I kind of regret not having the Gigantha, but... Alright, so I think I'm going to loot the Cat main phase, because I could draw a... Uh, what's the 2-drop? Priest of Forgotten Gods. So I'm going to do this. And... Play Haunted Region Pass. First game already missing Gigantha. Yeah, if I had Gigantha, I would have 100% just picked it up there. Alright. Pieces. Got what? Impulse, Axe, Pierce. Probably not going to take Pierce, right? Yeah, it's a like Axe Impulse. Makes sense to me. Get back Cat. Hopefully draw a payoff here. Fable, Corval, Devil. Blood Crypt also works. We're uh, landlording over here. Apparently, part of getting COVID is you draw 100% more lands on average in every game. 
Think you got the mixed deck building more or less interesting? I would say generally less. I mean, this is like the one instance of like you're actually sacrificing something to play a card that is um it's not a hundred percent like determine how good it actually is against monogreen. I mean, it obviously it looks good, but you know, sometimes the games just aren't about this stuff, so it's it's one of those things where it's really, really hard to justify not playing uh, Chigantha. Like, I don't even know if this is worth not playing Chigantha, to be honest with you. Coming from an RCQ like me, it's the only place that I went to that weekend, so... I mean, I went to two different RCQs that weekend, so it, it's hard to say which one specifically I got it from, but I don't know why they're making this play when I have Den. It's a very odd play to make. When they have two removal spells in hand and I have the Den face up. And like, I'm obviously not doing anything else. Like, I don't I don't even have any other lines. You know what I mean? I don't know why they would make that play. Very strange. Or like if they want to play the Phoenix just don't attack. Like they just took they just took a dead hit for no reason. <sighs> Alright. Now are they attacking? Wow. Still attacking. I mean, and now I'm obviously not going to fire up the dead into the removal spells, but I can just take their Phoenix. Doing this play and taking us to a whole 19 doesn't like... Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, they're dealing me two damage a turn with the Phoenix. Like, I'm, I'm just winning this race on board. Which is good, because I haven't drawn a spell this whole game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be honest with you, Chad. I think it's time to just steal the Phoenix and not sack it. Because I get an extra damage out of the cat that way. Uh, Alright, red. Red. <laughs> Ship it. Ship it. Are you going to do take five? You want to take five? Probably don't want to take five. Going to kill their own phoenix? Sure. That is acceptable. So we know about axe. So this way they go to seven... And I imagine they're going to end up casting Axe on their turn. Spear magic only for one year and made into Geo account today. Man, it's a software hunky, not easy to get into. It's really not, Dr. Raptor, especially if you're not used to it. I would say, like, if you're if you're a predominantly paper player getting into Magic Online, it almost feels like paper and Magic Online are two completely different games. It's such an unintuitive program. Like, you know, we, we talk shit a lot about Arena, but I will say one thing about Arena is it's a lot more intuitive than Magic Online. As many as many bad things there are that exist about Arena, it is a lot more easy, it's a lot more, like, new user-friendly. Yeah, it is. <laughs> What's up, newbie? <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to, like, I'm not trying to say that Arena is good. I'm just saying it has certain qualities about it, you know? Well, you have to realize, Dr. Raptor, the software was created in 2004, and I don't think they've really updated it for the past nearly 20 years. Like, they've had very, very minor updates, but, like, the the client itself, the outline of the client, is, like, not that much different than it was 20 years ago. So, Sacking Goblin is bad if they have Spike Field Hazard, which is a card these decks sometimes play. So, I think I'm actually not going to sacrifice the token. <clears throat> Galvanic Iteration. Oh, they're gonna time lock. We have one Phoenix in the graveyard, though. Yeah, I'm still. I'm getting there, Crit Bros. Like I said, I'm not 100% yet, but my throat's still pretty sore, so I don't know how if my voice is gonna last long enough. You know, see how long I'm actually gonna stream. Like I was telling Chad earlier, I did. We did a four-hour stream last night, and my voice was absolutely shot after the stream. So I don't know if I'm gonna get through a whole four hours. But I can I can feel myself I can feel myself slowly getting better, which is obviously good. No last card's axe. Oh, they play the axe. This doesn't seem that good for them. Because I can brick wall the hall with cat. Well, I can only brick wall one attack, right? But that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Brick wall one attack, go to eleven, and then take ten and go to one next turn. Now granted, I can't kill them necessarily, but Actually, I can, right? Three, four... It'll be close. I think I'm gonna be one point short. And I'm gonna block this turn so they can't go untap land removal spell next turn. 
So I want to just I want to get my block in while I can. Basically, is what I'm getting at. All right, block there. They played a different art axe, did they? Oh, they did. So their last card is lightning axe. You're you're correct. Yeah. So their last card is lightning axe. One hundred percent. I didn't realize that. Good good catch though, Jake. I didn't. I always forget that when people play different art stuff. Yeah. Okay. So the last card's axe. So I got a two. But then this is for... Um, am I one point short? Chad, I think I'm one point short. Attack with Den. Token, that's four damage. They go to two. Sack token. Get a food. Sack food, bring back cat. Give my cat haste. Uh, Yeah, but I can't bring the cat back right now. How am I giving my cat haste? I can't bring it back right now. I don't have a food in play. Chad, that line doesn't work. The only way I'm getting back my cat is post-combat after I sack the token off Den. Is there anything I can draw into with Corvold? Hmm. We know their last card is Lightning Axe. Give Corvold haste. Chatting! Chatting! I'm trying to think of how I get out of this. Corvold and sack it. If I Corvold and sack it, I don't have enough to animate the Den. Corvold pass. So if I Corvold pass, and they... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if I Corvold pass, they fire a Pive. They go, because we know their last card's Lightning Axe. They fire a Pive, Lightning Axe my Corvold. I sack Corvold to Oven, get two food. They attack with both. I sack one food to Cat, go to three, block the token, sack the other food, go to five, take three, go to two. And then I have lethal next turn. Okay, yes, that is the line. That is definitely the line. I have exactly enough mana. Chat, you can't claim Corbold. Claim is converted mana cost three or less. <laughs> well, <laughs> but I mean they're gonna go for the they're gonna go for the they're gonna go for the line, right? Like they have to. We know what their last card is. The line is just very obvious. It's it's, it's literally face up on the table. Because if they don't go for it, they're gonna lose the Corbold. It's just like a forced play. So we're still gonna win this game. Like, I, I just can't imagine a world where they don't cast a Lightning Axe. Yeah, it's actually kind of funny that we had exactly enough mana to do this, right? We had five for the Corvold and two to sack the food. We discarded it to the other axe. Oh, okay, you're right. I, for some reason, I saw that they played the, the, the different art axe, but I didn't realize they discarded the other axe. Okay, so we don't know what the last card is. But, I mean, we're still not in a bad spot, right? What, ha what happens if they fire up the hall and attack, leaving up a mana? I mean, well, it's force block, right? We don't have a choice. Mm. If I sack Corbold to itself, do I draw a card? I do, right? Yeah, I do. They don't need to, by the way, if they just animate an attack, you're forced to block and sack. That's true. Yeah, they don't have to cast Lightning Axe. Flashback Iteration. Okay. Interesting. The Johnny, thank you for the seven months. It's uh, I'm, I'm getting better, Johnny. I'm getting better. Thank you for the seven. Appreciate you, buddy. Chat, don't forget, if you're new to the stream, smash that follow button. And if you were to be ever so kind to use your Twitch Prime subscription, um, as we talked about yesterday, Twitch Prime is make me feel better. With, with Twitch Prime has helped the COVID go away. So if you have your Twitch Prime, now would be an excellent time to use it. Thank you again for the support. Play with fire. Oh, if they just draw shock. Well, I can sack Corvold gain three, right? But then I, yeah, then I died of the Phoenix. This is an aggressive line. I mean, they don't really have anything else, right? Well, I guess they could force me to block with the hall. Yeah, they could have forced me to block with the hall. Wait, what? I mean, obviously I'm going to block. <laughs> I too. I guess they have a removal spell. But now if they have a removal spell, they just lose to the den, right? Impulse? I think I'd rather have the card than put the Phoenix in the graveyard. TBH. Also, I want the I need the food. Yeah, I definitely want to do it this way. I think force block is way better. I mean they're they're just dead either way, right? Like now they're just dead to the face up den. Yeah, so I, I don't think they could win this game either way, to be fair. Yeah. Like if they tap out to, if they tap out to do the hall, it's the same play. You know what I mean? Like, nothing changes. I guess they have a mana left over, so they can bluff a shock, but... Like, I'm gonna go for it. I have to go for it. 
I think they lost that game when the turn after they cast pieces of the puzzle and they had they showed us two one meter removal spells and then they went Phoenix attack. That's when they lost that game. And then they just let me hit them with a the den for free. Attack with all was the only line, you know, I've kept that way it's like use the food for life. Mm. No, I would still have the cat. I just go block hall, tap, sack the Corvold, get two food, because I get two food off the Corvold, I sack one for three life, and then I sack the other food for the cat. So I still, I would have the cat either way. Alright, so I'm going to bring in lane lines. Would have been a loss to the Rakdos very improbably. Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, they also should have just not attacked with the Phoenix, right? I'm pretty sure Karizev's is bad against them. I mean, Claim looked pretty bad that game, but they did discard Shredder and Thing in the Ice. Maybe I can, like, trim a Claim and not have all four. Priest also doesn't seem great. Can trim a Priest, maybe. I don't think I want Push or Thoughtseize, right? I, I always hate Thoughtseize against Phoenix. But I'm going to try this. Corvold is, is an absurd card when you compare it to other 5 mana spells. It's really powerful. It's really, really powerful. Alright, well, I'm not going to keep a 1-lander. One land Corvold, by the way. This hand's much, much better. I am going to put back Claim the Firstborn. And I'm going to reveal Leyline of the Void as my pregame effect. As a Blue Red Delver player, what I do against this deck? What, my deck? Um, Cry. You gotta play a lot of Graveyard Hate. But, like, the Graveyard Hate's not even that good. It's only good against Cat Oven. This deck doesn't utilize the Graveyard that much. I don't really know as a blue red delver player what's like what's a, a good cyborg card i mean like removal like i mean obviously you're already loading up on reckless rage right right on time by the way squirrel meet this description pioneer players will show you the worst five drop here i'll pull it up show you the worst five drop you've ever seen in their sideboard and said yep that's right there for the grindy matchups yep grindy well, it's also not a sideboard card, so checkmate. Dude, I've gone through so many tissues. It's, like, unreasonable. I think I've gone through, like, six tissues. Six boxes of tissues. Six tissues. <laughs> Only six tissues in the last five days. Is Jeff for the grindy matchups? Jeff is for every matchup. There's not a matchup where Jeff is bad, so... But I'm also not playing Jeff, so... I cast Fable of the Mirror Breaker. <clears throat> sounding better. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better, for sure. Who is Jeff? Jeff is Gigantha. Also, chat, I don't know if you noticed that, but my uh, my lights just flickered, so... If we lose power, it's raining pretty bad outside. If we lose power, I apologize in advance. If the stream dies, trust me, I didn't, I didn't accidentally click end stream. Yeah, I did. I did. You know, like we were talking about the... On, when, I, when I first started getting symptoms on Wednesday and Thursday... It was like, I felt like death, and I'm certainly a lot better than I was, you know, five days ago. I can feel myself getting better. I finally started to taste things again today. Finally got my taste back. It was like a, it was an out-of-body experience. <laughs> like, I woke up in the morning, and I took a sip of coffee, and that's just like, I had to, like, sit back, sit back in my chair and, like, just take it in, you know? Because I couldn't taste food for, like, four days straight. Oh my god, give me a uh, Claim the Firstborn, please. Um, kind of want to keep the land, right? I think I only want to discard one. I could discard both ovens, but... Is that right? The only thing is, if I discard both ovens and draw Claim... Okay, that sounded really bad. I don't know what I'm doing if I discard both ovens and draw Claim. Probably should keep one. I'm going to keep one. Eh, tilt. Uh, I can loot a land, or I can just, like, windmill slam this fucker next turn. I kind of don't want to loot a land. I'm just going to take it slow. I'm not sure if this is correct, but... Not doing a lot over there. I think this is fine. Is that a tilt we want the land for the Corvold anyway? Yeah, that's true. It's not that much of a tilt, but... It's a tilt that I didn't draw the claim, you know? I would have much rather preferred to draw claim than land there. We got some clouds for B real. Or B re two. <clears throat> Reflection triggers Corvold. What do you mean? Reflection triggers Corvold. Oh, like when I copy something and it dies EOT. 
This thing also triggers core bolts. Is there a one mana card that can counter core bolt? <laughs> I hope not. Chat, would Force Spike be a good addition to Pioneer or no? Would you play Force Spike in your deck? Yeah, Corporal just triggers off a lot of shit. I probably wouldn't play in my deck. What did you miss? Uh, we're up a game against Phoenix. This is round one, right? Yeah, this is round one. Okay, that thing flips. I'm going to go to the combat step first. People play Sensor. Would Force Spike even be better than Sensor? Because, like, the thing about Sensor in the control decks is they really, really want the ability to, to cycle it. You know? You know what they probably have is Lightning Axe. That's probably what they have. I think I'm just going to sack the extra black source. Draw a card. Yeah, this is Lightning Axe. Pretty sure I'm just sacking the Corbolt to itself. Get an extra card. Because I can't make it a 6-6. Can't sack two things. I can outgrow Axe. Not if they respond to this trigger, which is which they're going to do. Uh, discarded a Phoenix. Yeah, makes sense. I still get to draw two cards, which is pretty good. Okay. And now I can copy the Bloodside Harvester and start doing that kind of stuff. Copy Harvester, play Fable, play Tapland. Or if they like tap out, I can fire up the den by playing this. Like, I have a lot of options next turn, which is good. Thank you, TB. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm getting there. Again, I think if I had to put a number, I'm probably up to, like, somewhere between 80 and 85% capacity. Still not quite 100. I think I'm going to bottom that, because I have a second Fable in hand. And I'm not going to fire up the den if they leave up a mana, so... I'm just going to go, like, bottom, play this, play this. Bottom. Maybe I should top it, because, like, it's just not a bad th it's not a bad card to draw the turn after, but... Because I really need to find a claim the Firstborn. I, I would certainly rather draw a claim, but, like, the second Fable gets me closer to the claim. That makes sense. Um, Herm. Kind of don't want to trigger the Shredder. What if I just, like, attack for three? Ooh, you know what? I should probably play around Spell Pierce, right? And then I can just discard the extra den to the to the fable. Yeah, I'm gonna play around Pierce. I don't want to get pierced, and I'm not gonna cast the dispute because I don't want to trigger the shredder. I could just dispute on their turn. Boom Dake. I don't think I've ever had anybody call me Boom Dake before. Whoa. Whether like completed Jund, Jund Raksak, All Star, Too Cheeky, and Win More. I don't like that card that much. I just, I don't know. It's just something te something tells me that it's too slow. It's a powerful effect, kind of, but it just, it takes so long to get going. I think. How do you guys feel about that card? It might be fine as, like, a one of, but I probably wouldn't ever play more than one copy. Like a cheeky one of. No attacks. Do I EOT the Dispute and get pierced? No, probably not. Because I'm still not going to fire up the... Uh, I'm not going to fire up the, the Den either way. Okay, still have not found Claim. That's not a bad draw, though. Um, This is interesting. I have 7 Shredder, huh? 6, 9... Okay, let's go... I'm just going to go Cat Harvester Pass. I know that triggers the Shredder, but I think that's fine. I still don't think they're doing that much with the with what's going on here. Maybe like make an all-out attack next turn. Have they discarded Pierce yet? No. They discarded one Pierce. I still think there's a pretty good chance they have Pierce in their hand. Maybe I could have led on the dispute and then just played these two. That probably would have been better, right? Lead on dispute. Yeah, I should have led on dispute 100 percent That'd have been better. Card seems terrible. It could have been a 10-10 and still be bad. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Consider. Incidental Scry is really good, I feel like. Yeah. But again, it's like... I don't know. Let me read it again. Maybe I'm just, like, misunderstanding how the card works. I'll pull it up again real quick. Mythic Spoiler. 
All right, they're finally not tapping. They're finally tapping out, huh? All right, let me read it. Where is it? Where are you, weather light completed? Let me just beat my opponent first. Oh, yeah, game's over. Game is now over. Okay. Is it actually lethal? Steal this, fire up hive, two blockers, block, block. Six, yeah, it's way more than lethal. Way more than lethal. It's like extra super mega lethal. All right. We'll take a look at whether they completed. Yeah, the enchantment's definitely the best card. Okay, we can play with this. Put back the blight step pathway. Yeah. Yeah, this is fine. So I want this to be a green source. What I'm probably going to do is go turn one, turn two, turn three green source. Uh, okay, I guess I can play this as a black source now. Yeah, temporary lockdown. What's the discard spell, though? 1B Thoughtseize plus Raven's Crime. Wait, really? So it's one in a black. Do you lose the life or no? So it, what you're saying is it's one in a black. You get to look at their hand, take a card, and they discard a card? That's not a real card. There's no way. That card's insane. That can't be a real card. It's better than Stupor, and Stupor costs three mana. Yeah, that's that's not a real card. It's 1B Thoughtseize, no life loss. Okay. I was like, Eli, what are you talking about? He said 1B Thoughtseize plus Raven's Crime. Yeah, obviously that card's broken. You can't that you can't print that card. <laughs> you can't print that card. <laughs> it's just, that's not a thing. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Demonic Tutors! Demonic Tutors, Ed, thank you so, so much for the massive raid. Much appreciated for those of you just tuning in. Welcome! My name is Doomwake. We're playing some Pioneer uh, Jund Sacrifice tonight. Uh, as you can probably tell, I'm still getting over COVID. Starting to feel a little bit better, but... Uh, thanks again for the massive raid. Hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome everybody from Ed's stream. Yeah, that's fine. Ed did an interview with Amy. That's kind of cool. That sounds like fun. Hmm. Should I save the claim for next turn? And I can go claim plus Corvold. I mean, I can't imagine not playing Corvold here, right? Yeah, I'm just going to play it. Like, it's just so bad to hold it if they have Thoughtseize. And the cool thing is they can't kill at instant speed, and I get to make it a 5-5. Five five, which means, like, I don't know how they're supposed to kill it next turn. I'm going to sack the blood. Because, like, they can't cut it, they can't push it, they can't Chandra it. I guess they can Dreadbore it, but... <laughs> Classic Landlord over here. Please no Dreadbore, please no Dreadbore, please no Dreadbore. You didn't believe hard enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they play three Dreadbore, so... I can sack land, but I didn't want to. Because if I sack land and draw a second core ball, that's way worse. And I have four of those in my deck. Yeah, soon they can Lily it. Not today, though. Okay, good draw. We take those. Certainly have plenty of lands to discard, so... Let's go to the attack step. We get to eat the, the cut to ribbons, too, which is kind of cool. This is certainly a matchup where I really, really regret not having the Gigantha. <laughs> this is by far the best Gigantha matchup. So, unfortunate that I don't have it, but... Yeah, sack lane is bad. I also have Den, too. Like, I just I just have so much stuff to do with my mana. Mino Gigantha, because we're playing with uh, Kari Zev's expertise in the main deck, which is a nod to Monogreen. Although, again, maybe not the, maybe not the best idea, but... Do you bring the Leylands versus Monogreen? I don't think so. Now, I don't know if I should go for the den this turn. I don't think I want to. It's just, like, so obvious their last card's push, right? 
I'm just going to make him hold it up. Yeah, I'm going to make him hold it up. I can also hold the land in case I draw a Harvester, so I can loot the land with the Blood Token. And they also just might not think I have a land as my last card, you know? Let's gain a little bit of life here. They go to 11, we go to 12. Yeah, they can't push the Trespasser. They only have one card in hand. And I got plenty of lands to discard to it, so... And we get some extra food left over, too, which is pretty good if I draw Corvold. Trespasser number three. No, okay, so that means they probably drew a land this turn, right? I don't think it would make this play if they didn't draw a land. Hopefully it's a shock land. I'm going to wait one turn on sacking a food here, I think. Maybe I'm not. I might sack a food here. Because I want to use all my mana next turn for Den. Keeping the land siege on the third claim for Trespasser. Yeah, that too, right? Yeah, I'm just going to sack a food here. Kind of surprised they're bracing me when I have food. Okay, now I'm going to play out a land so that if I draw another land, or not even if I draw another land, I could just uh, animate Den plus sack food next turn, which might be important. Kind of surprised they made that attack. Sure. Giga Chad. Do they... What's, what do they have? Okay, so they definitely have a removal spell. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep time walking them. All right, no attacks. Like, with them at five, I think they either are going to have to cast the push on the token at some point, or they're going to, like, get to a spot where they have to tap out. They can't just hold it up forever. Like, I'm obviously playing around it. <laughs> Oh, I should have sacked it. My bad. That was a whoops. I thought they should have sacked it. Oh, that was a really good draw. You're dead. <laughs> good game. Sack a land. Uh, sack food. Draw a card. <laughs> I drew the cat too. Good god. That was a bloodbath. <laughs> uh, actually not gonna suck the cat now that was a bloodbath yeah this matchup like this matchup is already insanely good for Rakdos sacrifice and I imagine it becomes like close to unwinnable when you just put four of this card in your deck <laughs> like what are they supposed to do nothing in their deck like kills this thing at a good exchange except Thoughties I guess but this matchup is just so good for, for sacrifice <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> oh. Alright, I'm gonna board against Sacrif or uh, Rakdos mid. Pretty sure push Leyland Thoughtseize is bad. I kinda just want these obs. I'm gonna cut Kari's Evs, because I don't want too many threaten effects. I'm gonna cut the fourth priest, I think. Should be fine. Also, chat again, we have a lot of new viewers, so thank you again for the massive raid ed. Um, be sure to follow the stream if you're new here, and if you have a Twitch Prime sub available, I you, you may not know this, but I, I found this out yesterday. Twitch Prime subs actually cure COVID, so if you have a Twitch Prime sub, make me feel a lot better. I'm just, I'm just the messenger, you know. Yeah, I also kind of want to see this priest in action. I just want to, like, I just want to cast it. I haven't drawn it yet. Do you know it was zero has zeros in it and not oh it's confusing. <laughs> Can red black be to resolve Corvold? I mean they have Dreadbore, but like if you cast it and draw four cards off of it, no, they can't win. If you cast a card and you draw four cards and they still have to spend a Dreadbore on it, they lose. Their deck just can't beat that. Like, it's just not possible. I'm gonna keep this. Thoughtsies. Might just take oven. They probably should take oven. I think Oven is, like, unironically the best card in my hand, yeah. You're good. Your move, Yugi boy. It's good against Trespasser. Kind of, but, like, imagine the problem I have with it against Trespasser is what if they just go turn two Harvester, turn three Trespasser? They're just going to sack their Harvester, right? And I guess if you go then, like, claim your Harvester, or claim your Trespasser, and, whoa, Giga Chad Valky, hello? Giga Chad Valky. Is Doom Wake some marijuana reference? Why would it be? Maybe if it was Doom Bake. Alright. <laughs> really need to draw a land next turn. Uh, I kind of have to play this as a Black Source, right? 
If I play this as a green source, is there a single land in my deck that doesn't allow me to... There's not, right? Yeah, okay, I'll just play it as a green source. Because I have to draw land anyways. Treasure makes my green fine. Yeah, but if I do, if I play this as a green source, there's not a single land in my deck that doesn't cast these two cards. That's the punishment. <laughs> That's certainly the punishment. <laughs> that is the one card that punishes me. I thought it was fine. Forgot about that card, but... Okay, well, it's no longer fine. Yeah, this is... Uh, pathways are free. Why did they shock, by the way? They have another Takanuma? Oh, right, they're just gonna do that. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, land still does it. You've left the fine zone. I mean, they're not doing a whole lot over there. It's probably a fable. Yeah. Come on, land. <sighs> 23 lands, by the way. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, that's actually cracked, right? Yeah, that's nuts. I think I need the treasure more, which is why I'm doing it this way. I do take one extra point of damage, but the treasure is really important. Actually, I guess I take two extra points of damage, but... Maybe that's not worth it. I don't know. I feel like it has to be, though. I, I just need this treasure so bad with the... My hand is just too clunky. Should have drawn Den. Oh, yeah, I guess Den would have been awkward, too. <laughs> yeah, like, I just kind of have to make that line. I need the treasure so badly. It's better to dispute the fine lands. And then lose the treasure. Perhaps. But, like, if I don't draw a land next turn, I can just go... Eh, I guess I might just dispute next turn. But I could also, like, steal the devil with the treasure in play, which maybe makes it better. I don't know. It's kind of close. That's on lockdown. Lockdown's crazy. That card's nuts. They have K command. Yeah, K command would have been bad for me. Okay, land's good. Um, Chandra's a problem, for sure. Well, no, I could just kill Chandra, right? Yeah, I could just kill Chandra. Uh, yeah. So we go attack Chandra for three. And then Chandra goes to two. And then I can go sack the treasure, ping Chandra, tap this, dispute, sack this, ping Chandra... Uh, we'll probably land pass to keep the treasure in play for Corvold for next turn. I think I like that. So let's go make black. Pink Chandra. Dispute sack this. Ping Chandra. Chandra dies. We draw two cards. Now the question is, do I want to sacrifice the treasure to play Harvester? I don't think I do. Because I really just want to play Corvold next turn. Actually, I might have to kill the Fable next turn. Yeah, I, I don't think I can sack the, the treasure here. I think I have to save it. I might have to go, like, Harvester, or, like, Devil, Sack Treasure. We'll see what they do. I might have to kill the Fable is what I'm getting at. When they are our opponents, Devil is cracked in half. It wasn't even a Devil, it was a Valky. But, yeah, I, I'm with you. Yeah, we might have to kill the Kiki Jiki. See what they do again, obviously. I don't really give a shit about that. That one is fine by me. Take a devil makes sense. It's less fine if they have a second thoughts ease. Yeah, here's my here's my hand of all twos. Two of all my cards. Two of two of my good cards. Okay. Winnable, copium. I would like to draw a claim the firstborn. I got two left. Yeah, give me a claim off the top, please. Claim would be so insane here. Claim might just be lethal. It's pretty close. No, nah, it's not quite lethal. <laughs> oh. Well then. Uh, you know. Gifted. One minute off claim sack trespasser to Corvolds. Yeah, imagine. Imagine if we could go claim Trespasser, sack it to Corvold. But I can still just go, like, devil claim this. It's it's honestly fine. Devil claim this. I kind of want to discard... I don't know what I want to discard. I'm not convinced they don't have another Thoughtseize in hand. 
Like, if I get this Corval of Thoughtseize, can I still win? Probably. Yeah, it's fine. Like, I'm still probably fine, even if they have another Thoughtseize. And then I'm going to... I'm going to sack the Trespasser, obviously. After eating the Valky. Gain a little bit of life. And now they're like... They're, we're now both at 7 all of a sudden. If they had a second Thoughtseize, they would take, double, take the second Devil. Uh, not if they wanted to play the Trespasser, I think. I think it's reasonable for them to just go Thoughtseize Trespasser there. So ping that thing. I'm going to go after the Kiki because I can't kill them. It's just dangerous to leave it in play. And then I think I'm going to go Sack Treasure. And then Sack... Oh, I thought I had a Blood. Okay, well, I mean, I kind of still wanted to kill the Fable anyways. It's probably fine to do it that way. I thought I had a Blood, though. But I think that was the right play. No Premium Command? If we got a mod in here that wants to make a Premium Command, I'm down. You can make it whatever you want. Whatever you want. Shatter Skull Smashing. Alright, how the fuck do you beat a Corvold? How on earth do you beat a Corvold? Alright, your move. They can't... I mean, they could Dreadbore it, but... They can't Chandra it, they can't cut it, they can't push it. it has to be Dreadbore. Certainly not Fable. They probably have Dreadbore. But that's fine, I'm still gonna be up a card. No, no Dreadbore, you're just dead. Uh, I mean, you know about the Harvester, right? Just Ludobs? Oh my god, Baleful Mastery on a... Corvold? <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, man. That must not feel good. Okay, I'll, I'll just draw a million cards. Your turn. I still have three lands in hand for what it's worth, but we're fine. Discarded a ridge. Okay. Kalitas. That's a good one. Kalitas plus push. It's a good turn for them. Yeah, very good turn. Alright, alright, alright. They're not dead. Mm, still close to dead, but not quite. Not Definitely not going to trade there. Hmm. Uh, that does kill Kalitas. It gives them a 2 2, though. I think I have to be fine with that, though, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't bring in the pushes. Yeah, I think I have to be fine with that exchange. So play this. Kill Kalidus. I don't love it, but... Okay, it's actually not terrible. And I kind of want to play a land so I can sack a food here and, like, not, you know, just take six. Yeah. All right, you may proceed. Why did I board out push? It's not in my main deck. I just didn't bring it in. I didn't know what to cut. I thought all my cards were great. I didn't know what else to cut. It's like, again, I kind of want to just gain three life here. Yeah, I'm just going to sack a food. So we go to 11, take six, go to five. Priest feels pretty meh. Yeah, maybe. It's possible that Priest is bad. I might just, if we go to game three, I might cut them all. I think we're, like, not really that far behind, though. Uh, do I want to kill anything else with the Harvesters? I can I can sack one Blood Token and still be able to kill the Reflection, so I think that's fine. So I'll do that. Oh. That also is just game, isn't it? Claim this. So they have a removal spell. Certainly attacking. Easy. Easy. There was this going to the YouTube, probably. Most likely, yes. Uh, yeah, this hand's dope. Keep it. <laughs> you got away with it last RCQ. The hell, dude! I saw that. I saw that thread sauce about the uh, the uh, was it? I think it was an underground sea, right? And they used the MTGO art. <laughs> Their opponent picked it up, and they were like, "Uh, wait, what?" It was so good. Oh, I gotta blow my nose. Ugh.
Can I bring proxied money to a McDonald's? Hmm. Uh, you're allowed to. I'm pretty sure I've done that when I was like a really, really young kid. Just bring some Monopoly money into McDonald's. I've probably done that before. I'm just gonna really hope I draw a green source. Question is, do I play for Priest or Harvester? I kinda wanna play Harvester. It's more pressure if they don't have a removal spell, and it's... I have a second copy anyways, so... Just like, I kinda just wanna attack them. Also, I don't, I don't know that Priest is that good against Phoenix. And like, if they hypothetically have a Shredder this turn, like, I can't turn on the Priest anyways, so... I think it's fine to do it that way. Oh man, I'm gonna get spell pierced for my whole career, aren't I? Definitely getting spell pierced here. These Phoenix decks play so many pierces. Maybe I'm not supposed to play the Fable there? I don't know. I mean, like, I could just go Harvester, discard the Fable, right? Yeah, they usually play like three copies main deck. It's crazy. It's wild. So they put pieces into their hand and nothing else. I'm cool with that. And they have crews because they're f 8 but they have, like, pauses on their main phases, so they definitely have crews in their hand. Not that I can do anything about it, but... Yeah, I'm probably just not supposed to play into the, uh... I'm probably not supposed to play into the, the Pierce there. So they've been two Shredders. Maybe maybe playing the Priest is fine. Just go, like, Priest plus Oven. Maybe looting is a little bit better there. I kind of wanted to loot... Honestly, kind of wanted to just loot away the second oven, and then if I miss, I can still play the priest. Because I don't know what the second oven's doing for me, and I really want to hit land drops for this Corbold. Excuse me. With the Rakdos Accurate playing over the weekend, what match was Trespassers for? I honestly don't know. I had them, I didn't board them in against Rakdos midrange, which is, I thought, something that you wanted to do. But I just, like, never felt like I wanted to play that kind of game against Rakdos. So I just don't even think they're that good. I, w I wouldn't play Trespasser in this day in the sideboard. Looting away the priest. Looting away the priest is maybe bad if they have shredder. Because like I can potentially trigger it, but Yeah, they're definitely casting cruise this turn. They put Im iteration trespass in their hand, that's a little scary. Not casting cruise. Alright, interesting. <laughs> well let's uh, loot away that. Hmm. What if they had a second spell pierce? I kind of have to play around it, right? Ugh, this is so bad. What's up, Forest? Thanks, buddy. I'm going to play the Harvester. Can play around it? Yeah, if I draw a late next turn. I think this is fine. It just, like, it really sucks not hitting my land drop this turn for the Corbold next turn. You know? That's why I really wanted to play the Dispute there. I will sacrifice it. So they didn't cruise. They wanted to hold up impulse instead. Reasonable. They're going to iteration cruise. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, missing land drops kind of sucks. This matchup does get a lot better post port at the ley lines, so. Ley line just makes their deck so anemic. This is the time where Phoenix players play in early hours and all about... It's all about humans other aggro decks, lol. And honestly, like, you, you say that, but that is definitely something where time zones have an effect on, on this kinds of things. Like, for sure. Okay. Discarding a second Phoenix. Draw Mayhem Devil. God, where are we going here? I mean, now is, I guess, probably a good opportunity to dispute. Yeah. I don't even know. Dispute, sack, food. Draw land, play devil. Humans is for all hours, yeah. Alright, dispute, sack, food. Claim not exactly the best here. I don't know if we're going to get another turn. So we know they have Trespass in hand, and they have this in the graveyard. Probably not getting another turn here. I don't know that there was that much I could have done differently this game. Like, their hand was just kind of loaded. Went 2 one with humans yesterday, IRL, Pioneer humans. Ooh, some I Prevail, I'm down. 
Godzilla. In the queue. What time is the modern qualifier? I didn't even know there was a modern qualifier this weekend. That is news to me. New song slaps. I haven't heard it yet. I'm hyped for it, though. It's 1 a.m. Pacific? Yeah, absolutely not. I'll keep the priest in play. Joe Dixon, thank you very, very much for the five gifted subs. If you got gifted a sub from Joe Dixon, be sure to thank them in chat. And if you didn't, I want to see the dodge. Thank you very, very much for the five subs. Much, much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Consider. Pio Super on Saturday. There's also the Mana Traders on Saturday. Unfortunately, I'm going to an RCQ, so I won't play either of those, but... If I didn't play, if I wasn't playing the RCQ, I could play Mana Traders and the Pioneer Super, which is maybe what I should be doing instead, but... Holy crap! Everybody's got five on it. Rope Burn with another five gifted subs. If you got gifted a sub from Rope Burn, be sure to thank them in chat, and if you didn't... I want to see those dodged. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's a, that's a double dodged right there. Did they iteration? I don't think they iterated, right? Why didn't they iterate? Oh, because they cast Charter Course. Oh, they did. Never mind, I'm dumb. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I ever did. All right, cool. The game where we get to bring in the best card against them. I don't know. Should I bring in Fatal Push? Last time I played this matchup, like, Shredder is really good, but... What did I cut last time? I think I cut Karizevs, a Priest. I think I cut a Claim last time, but I don't know if that's right. Maybe just two Priest. Claim is more or less push. Yeah, kind of. That's true. Yeah, claim is essentially the same thing. But I could, like, cut the other two priests and bring in two pushes, you know? I think I'll just keep it like this, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I have really not been in priest with so far. Like, I don't... Like, okay. It doesn't seem that great against Phoenix, because they have infinite shocks for it. And if they, like, have a Phoenix randomly in play, then it's obviously not good. It seems not great against Mono Green because unless you also draw, like, you pair it with Claim, they can just sack a troll. Like, I don't think that's that good. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's I don't think it's good against Rakdos. Like, what is it good against? It's good against the other creature decks, right? Yeah, that's also the other issue, is the card that we cut was Unlucky Witness. And I've really, really missed having Unlucky Witness as another cheap thing to sack to, like, Disputer Oven to help hit your land drops, especially if you're going to go up the curve to Corvold. You know? So, like, the combination of Priest not being that good against a lot of decks and really missing the additional one drop means I think you should probably just cut Priest for Witness. Yeah, exactly, that too. Like, you're already good against creatures. Mm. Okay, so I could keep this hand. However, it does not have a ley line in it. And also, I think this hand's kind of medium anyway, so I'm going to ship it. Okay. I mean, I'm not purposely malingering to Leyline, but, like, first hand just didn't seem that good. Like, two lands, two devils, a five drop. I don't know, it just didn't seem that good. I mean, I guess I have to keep this. I can't go to five. This hand's not very good, but... Uh, I guess I put back... I'll be the extra green one. Yeah, it's fine. You can go Ridge on one, Blight Step on two, and then Green Source on three. Well, Leyline's not as good that you don't have it in your opening hand. I do think it, like, does beat them kind of single-handedly if you have it, but... Again, you have to draw it. Scorble the Dragon? Uh, I believe it is, yes. I would assume it is, right? Looks like a dragon. Shots, of course. Drawing Leyline's still not even that bad. I can just hard cast the next turn. Can't be power word killed? Yeah, I can't be power word killed. Are you thinking Dragon Synergy is like the the new um what's that thing? Like the new um 
Dragonic Roar, or whatever it's called. What's that card called? It's like Reveal a Dragon, two mana, Drum and Magda? I don't know if I like that kind of stuff. That's That stuff seems a little sketch. Dragon's Fire, that's the one I was thinking of. It sucks if they have Pierce, but I was going to play my dead anyways. Yeah, it needs a lot of creatures. Sure, that's fine. Alright, Den, your turn. I don't know if I want to discard this land. It is kind of good to keep it with the Den. Also, keeping the Blood Token with Mayhem Devil's not bad, so I'm probably just going to not use the Blood Token here. If I draw another land, then I can do it, but... Because, like, I don't want to fire up the Den if they hold up mana. Especially when they just regular the Impulse. So they have Impulse Opt. So we'll just chill. Corvolt? Corvolt would be insane. That's not bad. I th think it's better to play that. I kind of want to try and bait the Impulse with, with this and just not play the Devil this turn. Maybe that's a little bad, but... That's why I didn't play the Devil. But maybe that's just bad. <clears throat> Edicts and gain four. What do you mean? Iteration Cruise. We are so dead. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you just have to mulligan to Leyland in this matchup. I don't think this matchup's very good without it, but it's pretty hard to lose when you have Leyland. Like, I don't think they have the, any answers to it. It's my top Pioneer decks from trying to win a tournament. Uh, Mono Green for sure is, is number one. It's probably what I'm going to play this weekend. Um, like, Mono Green. I think Abzan Grease Fang has kind of slept on, too. I like that deck a lot. I think you can just go under Mono Green with it. And, like, Rakdos Mid's fine, but I don't know if I'd, like, necessarily, you know, pick it to win a tournament because it's so bad against Mono Green. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Matchup against it, like, you know, Spirits or, or Boros Aggro, uh, Boros Heroic. It's like, it's just, it's it, it's an uphill battle with anything. Like, even if you play Rakdos midrange, and your sideboard is like four epic downfall, four, you know, like, you know what I mean? Even if you played like eight dedicated cards for Mono Green, you're still probably like just barely 50-50 against them. <laughs> just like, it's so, it's so bad. Yeah, the Cabeza de Bolo is the, the list that I copied. And I got all the cards in the mail. I'm, I'm, I'm either going to play... Either I'm either going to play Monogreen Devotion or um, Esper Grease Fang in the RCQ this weekend. I haven't decided which one. I'll probably chicken out and just end up playing Monogreen, but... Hushbringers, Redain, Archon, all main. Jeez, yeah, that's crazy. So they take Dispute. I'm on Spirits with the Dodge, Red, Black, Plan, I feel very favored versus Green, Blue, White, Fang. Yeah, that's true, too. Spirits is good against Fang, because they, uh, they have the Tapper. Shacklegeist. So Spirits is really good against Grease Fang. Esper over Abzan? No, I like Abzan a lot better. It's it's just Chariot. Like, Chariot's just... It, Chariot is the best plan B for those people who randomly show up with Leyland or Rest in Peace in their sideboard. You just Chariot them. And the Esper deck just doesn't have a card like Chariot to help it come back... to help it combat Graveyard Hate. There's just... That card doesn't exist in Esper, you know? Team Cat Person confirmed. Dude, I like I bought all the like the fancy rarities for the, the Grease Fang deck. I still haven't done a, a mail day post with it. But I bought like I bought the, the fancy chariots. I'll play out this game. Attack you for one. Yeah, I just like I haven't I I've been getting a lot of mail over the past couple of days. I just haven't done a, a mail day thing yet. Uh I'll play the one they know about. But yeah, I got fancy chariots. I got... What else I got? I got the Fancy Grease Fangs. This thing's nice. Got... The Full Art Wither Blooms. These are all, like, really cheap, too. The Full Art Can't Stay Aways. That's pretty much it, I think. Oh, the Pathways, too. But, yeah. My friend's been trying Esper Fang with Rafine's Informant and Rafine. Rafine is really good. I just I don't know. I don't know if it's it's good enough. If it's enough better than uh, or if it's even close to as good enough as Chariot and the fair game plan. You get the nice salvages. No, because they're foil, right? 
You're talking about like the the foil FNM ones. Hmm. They do not have a Perhelion in the graveyard. How close are they to dead? If I like claim the supplier, play priest, sack supplier, sack priest. Wait, can I just hold up my stuff? I can just like attack them for three. No, because then if they play Fang, I have to sack the devil, which is kind of bad. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm just gonna, I, I kind of want to spew here a little bit. I'm just gonna steal the supplier. I don't know if this is actually good, but this might not be very good. Play Priest. Tap. What is this? Any number of target players each lose two life in the creature. Okay, so I cancel. Click. Target them. Okay. Sack these two. And then ping them for two. Because they're going to lose the Wayfinder anyways. I get to mill three. They go to 11. Okay, can't cast that this turn. Probably cast it next turn, though. If only I had something to do with three mana. Chat, any ideas on, on a card that would, uh, would allow me to use three spare mana when I have it available to me? They milled three? No, I milled three. I milled three. What are you talking about? Oh, they had cherry. I didn't notice that. I definitely milled three off of that. Like, I didn't have the Corvold in my graveyard, so I know I milled three. Hmm. Yeah, this might have been a bad line. It's just like, if I pass with the priest up, I then have to sack the devil to activate the priest on their turn, which is kind of bad, obviously. I can still win if I draw a land here. Yep, so do that. Sack Blight Step. They're not dead, are they? Nine. Draw a card. Okay, so tap, sack these two. That would be one, two, three, four. That's only four damage, right? All right, we pass. I don't think it's lethal. But as long as they don't put a Parhelion into the graveyard, we should be fine. And even if they do... Well, I guess I can't kill the Grease Fang now. Actually, I can, right? No, because I have to sack the Devil. And if I sack the Devil, then when they sack the token, it won't trigger the Devil. Okay, that's not a Parhelion. That's good news. Sack Priest Corvolds. Yeah, but I don't think it actually does what I want it to do, right? I don't think it triggers. It doesn't get me where I need to go. Yeah. It does not get me where I need to go, unfortunately. Alright, so they get four more looks. They did hit the Parhelion. I'm at 16. The tokens are 4-4s, four right? Okay. So, let's assume they go tap this, crew Parhelion. Attack with everything. This is a 5-5, five, five, two 4-4s, four, four, the three 2-2s. Two, Six attackers. I block a 4-4 four, four, and the two 2-2s. Two, two, that has me taking... It's only 11 damage, right? I'm not even close to dead. Yeah, I'm not even close to dead. Did I, did I count wrong? I could even just choose to not block with Priest, right? Yeah, this is fine. And I get to keep the Corvold, too, because I get to eat the 4-4, four, four, which is really huge. Go to one? No, I end up going to five. Or I can choose to keep the priest and go to three, which is probably what I'm going to do. Because I think I need the priest for lethal. Yeah, I keep priest. Yeah, so this is block here, block here. Five, nine, eleven, thirteen, go to three. Sounds good to me. And activate den and win. Yeah, I think that should be lethal, right? Well, they can block the uh, they can block the Corvold with the Angel, right? Yeah, can't they just block the Corvold with the Angel? How is Den lethal? Hold on, how is Den lethal? It's Priest Sorcery? No, Priest is instant. Priest is instant. So if I fire up Den and shove, they block Corvold, block Devil. Oh, I just don't attack with the Priest, right? Yeah, I just don't attack with Priest. They go block Corvold, block Devil, take four, go to four, second main. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm with you. 
I'm with you. Yeah, that's lethal. Yep, yep, yep. That is lethal. Cool. We defeated a Grease Fang hit. Oh yeah, we also get more damage with the Corvold too, but I don't think that matters too much. Uh, I guess it's better to ping the Wayfinder, right? Just more damage. Yeah, it's just more damage. Got him. Extra lethal. Alright, Leyland's coming in to clutch again. Is Leyland just a really good sideboard card in Pioneer right now? Hmm. Okay, this card seems horrible against them, right? Ooh. Actually, this can take Chariot. Oh, wait, this can take Parhelion. What the fuck? <laughs> no, this card's busted, right? This just takes Parhelion. I guess the problem with taking Parhelion is they get blockers, right? So, like, they play the Parhelion, they get two attackers, right, which have Vigilance, and then you go, on your turn, steal the Parhelion, hope that you have something to crew it, and they just trade with the 4-4s. Four so, like, is that even good? Yeah, also, yeah, that's true, too, because it gets returned. Yeah, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. This card sucks. Look, I, I got there eventually, okay, Otter? You know what card I think is not very good against them, even though it was, like, somewhat decent? That game is Priest. They have so many things to sacrifice to it. Between, like, Seder Wayfinder, Stitcher Supplier, Extra Cats. Honestly, Lidless, I kind of want to call all the Priests and play Four Witnesses. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, I want to bring in Push, I think. What if I trim on Fable? Fable's kind of slow against them. Yeah, let's try that. Let's do that. Maybe I should trim Corvold? Yeah, could have trimmed a Corvold and kept the third Fable. Alright, well, I have Leyline plus cards. I keep. This deck looks spicy. Has there been enough cheap regions for Priests and Corvold? Has been, have, well, Corvold's been insane. So I think, basically, if you're going to take Rakdos Sacrifice and Splash for Corvold, I think that is a good place to be. The one issue I have with this deck is I don't think... Like, I haven't really found a matchup where Priest is actually good, you know? Like, it just doesn't seem that good against a lot of decks right now. So, I think I would prefer to just cut Priest and play Witness, and just keep the rest of the deck as is. Also, Witness gives you more stuff to sack to Corbolt, which is pretty good, so... <laughs> I just haven't been a fan specifically of Priest. Priest has been kind of shit. Yeah, but, like, the problem with Priest in this deck is you're cutting, a lot, you're cutting all the extra one-drops. Like, you only have three cats, there's no witnesses, and there's no epicures. So you just don't even have that many good things to sacrifice to it, you know? So, like, that plus the fact that it's just not that good against a lot of decks right now, I'm just not a big fan of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the Twitter meme, right, 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 Sauce? The classic Twitter meme. I like Ancestral Recall because it says you draw three cards. <laughs> priest needs two Chandra threes if you're running Priest. Uh, I don't think I would ever want to put that card in my deck. Chandra three? You're talking about the one that makes one ones? That card can't be good, right? Like, as far as three drops are concerned, we already have eight three drops. There's already Devil and Fable. Like, we can't really just play more threes. It's good in Chandra Tribal. Remember that one time I played against, like, Chandra's Regulator, that kind of shit? Unironically played against that deck before. Oh yeah, I know what Acolyte does. I figured that's the card you were referring to. Uh, I could main phase stuff, but I'm just gonna pass. I don't really have a lot of reason to do anything. I don't think they can beat this setup. It's a synergy for Priest. Yeah, I don't know, I just like, even if you can make Priest good, I just don't think Priest is good enough against a lot of decks right now. Like, if you look at the top decks, Priest is just not... It does, just doesn't line up that well against a lot of decks right now. It's good versus Spirits. Yeah, but the thing is, is, Reaction, yes, you are correct. It's good against Spirits. It's good against basically any Collected Company deck. So, like, Humans, Spirits, Band Coco, that kind of stuff. But, like, those are already good matchups. So, you're, you're adding a card to your deck, you're making a lot of your bad matchups worse, and you're making your good matchups better. That just doesn't make sense. Like, why would you do that? Mm 
Just gonna kill cats, I think. Please don't go. Please don't clip that. <laughs> don't don't clip that. This fatal push. Uh, hmm. I can dispute something. Dispute sack the oven probably. Ping this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're so low. I know, but like, I just want to kill their shit. Like, they're so dead, this game. <laughs> this game is so over. Like, they can't win. Sack the cat, I guess. Yeah, they can't kill this card. They have no outs to this card. All right. Let's do a prediction chat. Prediction. What are we, three and one? All right. Uh, start prediction. Four, one. That would make my throat feel a lot better. Maybe I'll go to the store after this and get some ice cream. All right, what do we got? Pathway, pathway. I think this hand's a keep. Let's try it. Cut priest, probably cut Karis have that Giganta. Get Giganta. Yeah, that's true. If you're going to cut priest, the, the, the Karis have to get a lot worse. Especially, like, I mean, I guess the you could maybe go, like, cut priest for two village rights, two witness. And then if you keep, like, if you add village rights, maybe Karizevs is good enough to keep. Because, like, without, Karizevs does feel kind of weird without village rights. Corvold from Witness is awkward, no? It is, but, like, it's only awkward if you hit two Witnesses, right? Maybe you just go back to Epicure at that point. I guess I could see that happening. Like, if you Witness flip a Corvold and a 3-drop, that could be awkward. So maybe instead of Witness, you just play Voldar and Epicure. That could be reasonable. Yeah, maybe that's better, actually. Epicure is probably better with Corbolt too. Alright, so this is the matchup that I wanted to play. I wanted to see how this matchup plays out with um, the additions that we made. Although, I will say this hand's not the best against them. I mean, Priest plus Claim is, is a good one too against them, but... Looking at Pioneer Staples and the top artifact creature in the format surprised me. Is it fucking Meteor Golem, dude? Come on. Is it? It's, there's no way. Is it actually Meteor Golem? Are you trolling me? That's unreal. That's so unreal. Also, people said Mono Green would be too good, but they banned Winona and Expressive. Yeah, I mean, that was definitely, um, that was definitely a thing that could have happened for sure. Like, that was... I, to be fair, I don't even think that Monogreen was that bad against Winota. Like, you could just Karn for Cage if they don't, like, you know... If you could some if you could find a way to get under them and you Karn for Cage, they couldn't beat that. Maybe I was supposed to play Harvester last turn, knowing they had the Kiora. Probably was. Yeah, now I'm kind of fucked. I don't know if I want to go after Kiora. I kind of think I'm better off attacking them. <clears throat> This configuration has to be terrible against Mono Green, right? Because once Karn resolves, Treasures did nothing to cast Corvolds. Well, we have we have we have green pathways to cast Corvolds, so it's not like we're, you know, we we can cast Corvold without Treasures. Even just cast it off this too. Well, assuming you have a you know a green pathway, obviously. But yeah, I'm still kind of firmly in the camp that Karn is the problem here. I mean, there are multiple problems, but I think. I think the format would be better off without Garn. All right, what are we doing here? We get a lot of options. They're at seventeen. Hmm. Can I kill them this turn? I don't think so. If I go, Mayhem Devil, claim the Elf, tap the Priest, sack the Devil, sack the Elf. How much damage is that? So it'd be three devil claim elf. Oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. I can go claim elf, use the elf for mana. No, because I did this, right? Because I played this as a green source. I think because I played this as a green source, I can't do that. Because I need red, black, red. Red. Well, I can go, I need red, black, red, black. So I need black, black, red, red, but I only have black, red, and then a duel, right? 
Fable plus Claim Cat. Fable plus Claim Cat. Claim Cat. What? What does that accomplish? Black Black from Priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can cast it. I know I can cast the. I can cast this post. What I want to do is I want to be able to go claim this, play Devil, and play and play Cad. Because then I can go sack the Elf, sack the Cat, keep the two Devils. They sack this. They take two more. You know what I mean? But I can't do that. What I kind of want to do is I kind of want to steal. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm gonna take this line. I'm gonna go steal your Elf. I'm gonna float mana, play Cat. Makes sense. Yeah, I fucked myself by playing this for green. I should have played this for red. This would have been so much better if I had played this for red. Yeah. I just, like, instinctively played it because I thought it needed a green source. But that was bad. Alright, let's play cat. Let's priest. I'm just gonna make sure you click on the right player. Sack these two... I'm still ignoring Kiora, I'm just going after them. In general, I just, like, never fight over Kiora. Unless I'm playing, like, Rakdos mid-range, then I might, but... Alright, I guess they're gonna put Storm on top, and then just cast Storm. Three, two, three, four, five. <laughs> God, I got so punished. So, so punished for not doing, for not doing that. Yeah, I get the two main off priest too. Yeah, they're putting Storm on top, which makes sense. I go to 11 here. This puts them to 8. I think I should play... Devil? Right? Yeah, I think I just played Devil. What if I played Devil and disputed the Priest? Is that good? I kind of want to keep the Priest in play, though. Could claim my Devil. <laughs> Not now, right? How am I scaring you? Oh, you're saying if I hit the claim off of this. No, because I didn't have a second red. Right. So, Dispute puts them to 9. This puts them to 6. The Treasure puts them to 4. But then I don't have the Priest in play, which is kind of awkward. Yeah, but the, the Priest can just kill them next turn, right? I guess the Treasure kind of matters. Maybe this is good. All right, you're at six. Effectively four. I mean, if if we don't die, we should be able to kill them next turn. Like, I'm trying to think of the worst storm they could hit. They could be like, what? I don't know. They go like, play Nykthos, storm into... I don't even really know. Hit like, troll plus land. But then they still can't activate Nykthos, right? Karn? Well, not if they don't hit a blocker. Because they would still be dead, right? <laughs> they need, like, Karn and a blocker. I guess, like, Karn and a random elf might be fine. Yeah, maybe. Second case of Karn. The only thing about sacking here is it doesn't change the clock, because it puts them to four, and even if they hit a blocker, they only go to one. But maybe it's worth putting them to one there. If I draw, like, Cat or something, that might be worth it. What's up, Tarborg? Do you know what the modern qualifier this weekend is exactly in terms of QPs? Like, it's like 35 last season, just missed out. I think it's 40. I'm pretty sure it's 40. Liliana's going to be best in Grease Fang. Agreed. Agreed. Karn, Vraska. They Vraska kill the devil. They have to plus, right? That is bad. That's probably worst case scenario. And they expire Sunday, and the ones for next season start. That I don't know. Can you use the old QPs for the qualifiers this weekend? No, you can only use the, the new QPs, right? I think so. There's six. Yeah, I probably screwed that up. I feel like I could have done something better there. All right, well, attack you, I guess. Got nothing else to do. Uh, question is, what am I playing? I think I'm supposed to just double spell. Just play Harvester Fable. But then I can't then I can't den. Maybe I go Fable Den. What if I go Harvester Den to give me three three lethal creatures? Well no, if I go Fable Den, it's still lethal, right? Because then Fable plus Den is essentially two three power attackers. Two plus the token in the den. So yeah, that's probably fine.
Old QP stayed on people's account a bit longer because they let people join limited premiums with them. Oh, did they really? That's kind of cool. I didn't know that. I'm dead? Oh, they just get the Nexus, right? Fucking hell, man. Ah, uh, what did I do wrong this game, chat? I feel like I should have won this game. Did I mess up that last turn? Obviously, besides, like... Oh! Oh, but the gain life, yeah. Wait, if I deal a damage to Karn, does that matter? I don't know, I think it might. Probably not, but... Yeah, the Greenland. The Greenland screwed me. I maybe could have been able to do a lot better stuff if I... Yeah, because if I, had, if I hadn't played the Greenland, I could have played... Devil and then Cat before activating the... Yeah, that, that probably would have won the game. That might have won the game. Also, to confirm... Not only do they use Season 3 QPs for this Sunday, but afterwards it'll be on to Season 4, and Season 3 will be useless. Uh, I believe that is correct, yes. Yeah, I probably should have killed Braska too. I f Honestly, I forgot about the Nexus. If I only kill Vraska, then they just flash back this. It's, I, I, I'm in a bad spot no matter what. I'm fucked either way. Yeah, season 3 already started. Like, I, ha I don't know if I still have the other QPs from last season, but... Yeah, this is Season 3. Right? Yeah, this is Season 3. We are in Season 3 right now. Let's grab some homemade strawberry ice cream. You want to send me some? I have 16 season QPs at the moment. They aren't going to expire Sunday. No. No, no, no. Whatever QPs you have on your account, you're fine. It's my opinion on the gen list. Oh, they killed the devil. All right. I, I'm off it. <laughs> you win, dude. I think it's been pretty good. I've been a pretty big fan of Corvold so far. The one card I've not been a fan of is Priest. I do. I like Corvold, but I don't like Priest. All right, I'm going to bring in just Thoughtseize and not push, I think. Um... So, normally I cut Priest, but I actually think Priest is not bad in this matchup. I kind of want to cut Fable. I think Fable is my slowest card. Might get punished for, for doing this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut Fable. I just want to be a little bit leaner. <laughs> They'd be useful for a Season 3 Modern Event, though, or only other formats after this Sunday. I don't know what you're asking. I'm confused. Like, the season that we're in... Are these QPs? They're good all the way till the next season, right? Which is for the next three months. Yeah. The Torborg, these QPs are good for three months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good for three months. Alright, play first. Uh, sand's kind of a stinker. And is kind of a stinker. Mm, I don't know, chat. Is the sand good against Monogreen? I mean, obviously it has some good draws, but I'm going to ship it. I want to be a little bit aggressive in this matchup. Okay. Okay, I can work with this. I think I'm actually putting back land. I'm just going to high roll here. Yeah, I'm putting back land. It's greedy as fuck, but it's super high roll. And this matchup is horrible that I think you have to just try and high roll. <sighs> Maybe 2 split for green, red, pass, and shocks. Yeah, I feel like leaning on Pathways is kind of bad, because with Blood Tithe Harvester, you you can't ever afford to play a green source early. So, like, if your hand, and with only eight Pathways, you're not likely to have a second one. So if your hand only has one Pathway, and you're forced to play it on turn two, it's like, it's super awkward, you know? I'm kind of down to just cut the Pathways and play Shocks. I don't know if I want to play 12 Shocks, but... Like, 12 Shocks is a bit sketch. But maybe a mix, like... Four shocks, four pathways. Yeah, just give me pain lands already. We could play Carp and Forest and Sulphur Springs in this deck. Oh yeah, I'm super happy about pain lands. I'm not as happy that we're only getting half, like not all of them right now, but I am definitely happy for pain lands. That is a, a massive, massive upgrade. Yeah, now we just need fast lands. Are we? Do you think we're actually going to get fast lands? I hope, really hope we do. End of next year? You think we have to wait that long? Oh, no. Yeah, the Liliana's gonna be good in Grease Fang. I probably only would play, like, one or two copies, though. You don't want a ton of copies of Liliana. He just had, like... They had no Elf, no 2-drop, no Kiora. So their hands just... They kept the push and all payoff, I guess. 
Interesting keep. They obviously have Garn. I think I'm gonna dispute the food token. Okay, those are cards, those are cards. Um, they're not good cards, though. They're okay cards. It's really awkward if they have Karn right now, because they can, because then I can't play the Corbold. For this deck, we have Glory Fastlands. Oh, I'm with you, I'm with you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Eh, I don't know. Maybe. It's gonna be that bad. If they minus here, then we get to kill the Vraska, which is kind of good. Uh, no, I don't want to sack the treasure. Right, I can just ping the Vraska. What am I doing? So now we can slam Corvold. Two, three, four, five. Probably sack the food. Yeah, I'm going to sack the food. And I'm going to play this land so I can loot away the extra land with the blood token. And then just slam for five. Slam for one. Now, if they have cab, they can chump block, but... <coughs> get fast lands in the Phyrexia set. Phyrexia is, what, spring of next year? What's the set after Dominaria? It's Brothers War, right? So it's Dominaria, then Brothers War, then the... Then the Phyrexia one. Ooh, no flying blocker. They might be dead. Cough is wet. Yeah, it's... it's I'm, I'm hanging in there. Ooh. Well, hello there. Okay, that's too many Corvolds. Uh, unironically, I don't think this is lethal. Right? This is, what, 10 damage? Oh my god, imagine if I had a green shock lane and I could get back the troll. Which then I could sack the land to make a 4-4 four -four and then sack the 4-4 four -four to priest. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm just debating if I want to attack with the priest here. I don't think I do. 610. Brothers March Aftermath I'll train Exelon. Uh okay, this is eleven. They go to four. So if I use priest. I could use priest and then just play a second Corvold, right? Like there's not a whole lot of difference in having a 7-7 seven, seven Corvold versus, you know, a 6-6 six, six Corvold or whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do that. Split some to two. I also draw two more cards. Yeah, this game's over. Can also cast Dotsies here. What the? Dude, they kept push Vraska troll carried lands. No, they drew the carried. They didn't. They didn't have the carried. So they probably kept push Vraska troll lands. That hand's horrible. Why would they keep that hand? There's no way that's a keep, right? There's simply no way that's a keep. Push Vraska Troll lands? Why would they keep that? That's awful. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> they didn't even have Troll? Oh yeah, because they didn't play Troll on three. So they, they kept, what, Push Vraska five lands? I mean, they tanked on the keep, but like... Yeah, they literally kept Push Vraska five lands. That's horrible. Yeah, I'm not even sure that push is that good. I mean, I guess it can kill Devil, but... Yeah, they had to have kept push for Aska five lands. Well, do I return the favor and keep Thoughtseize Dispute five lands? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ship this. I can do better. It's not... I don't know if I would call it better, but it's functional. How did they turn on Revolt ever? Uh, well, after I kill a creature with Mayhem Devil, right? That's how they turn on Revolt. Like, I don't think they can really do it themselves, but... Oh, they have Vraska, actually. Vraska turns on Revolt. It's expensive and it's slow, but... Alright, well, now we lose. Good beats. Good beats. Maybe they have all made of no payoffs? They sure don't. One card I played in the sack decks that has overperformed is Gala Greeters. Not sure if it's something to look at over the priest. Gala Greeters, huh? Hmm. Eh. I mean, I kind of just want another one drop. I want a one drop to pair with the ovens. 
and specifically the disputes. We're playing four disputes, and we only have three cats. We have no other one drops besides three cats. So I think if you're going to play four disputes, you kind of have to play like a witness or epicure type card. But I do think that witness is kind of awkward with Corvold, so it might just be better to play. Uh, let's play epicure. All right. Well, we lose. Had a good run. Can't beat this draw. If I play Devil to just get Boat, and I can't win anyways. I don't know, maybe I'll take a draw step. But we're dead, we can't win. Goose are too much green. You don't have enough turn one green sources. Also, Goose is actually quite bad, because you... Unless you play, like, green shock lands, because the green sources you have right now are all pathways. So if you have pathway on turn one and you play Goose, you're then forced to sacrifice the, the food token off the Goose if you want to play Harvester on two, and you don't want to put yourself in that situation. So if you played Goose, you'd have to replace the pathways with shock lands, which we kind of want to do anyways. But I think it's better off just, like, cutting Priest, adding another one drop, either probably Epicure. You could play, like, three Epicure and one... You could maybe do, like, two Epicure, fourth Cat one village rights or maybe like three epicure one village rights or something but yeah goose is for trail we, this deck is is literally just black red splash corporal there's no other green cards and i want to keep it like that i think that's 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 like a good a good it's keeping it consistent you know or like our only green card is corbold and i kind of want to keep it like that all right i won't play anymore you win dude <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. Man, fuck Mono Green, huh? Fuck Mono Green. Alright, Doubters Rejoice. Open my chest. Oh, I got a Fire Ace. Alright, closing thoughts on the deck for the YouTube. Um, deck was pretty good. I was I was definitely impressed with Corvold. That is a good that that is a good addition to the deck. It's a nice splash. Uh, a couple things. Not a big fan of Priest, as we talked about in the video. I would recommend probably playing um, three Voldaren Epicure and one Village Rights over the four Priests, and potentially cutting the car the one of the Karis Evs for the fourth Cauldron Familiar. And yeah, and then I kind of want to switch some of the some of the uh, pathways into shock lands, maybe like two of each, two of each, something like that. But yeah, that was sweet.